Hello! Today we're going to Hogwarts. Um, I'd also just like to preface right now, I've been messing with my audio settings. Hopefully it sounds okay. If it doesn't, it'll be fixed next episode, okay? <laughs> yeah, anyways, Professor Weasley's here. I don't- I really just finished the intro. I made my person, but well, I'll make my person and then we'll get into it. Hey, so I don't know what the heck happened to my audio, but I know that I sound like a robot. Um, I'm gonna fix the next episode, but I'm not gonna re-record this again. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to stick with it and bear with me. Yep. <laughs> okay. I basically recreated the scene girl I did last time, but you guys wouldn't know. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we've worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! Yum. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. See, that's still so suspicious to me. Like, why did he do that? It's me. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the See, ministry, oh, why doesn't she say anything? I would not just be like, oh. Threat. And it was your wife, Eliazar, mm. who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the ministry knew about his activities. What was your wife up to, sir? Before I could respond, I received this it was the last thing she sent me Eliazar. it came to me via her owl but with no correspondence i can that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe presumably from ranrock i cannot open it whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed it looks like goblin metal that symbol what's that glow I don't see a glow. She's crazy. Nor do I. Mom! 
Merlin's beard. How Wait. did you? We oh. Well, this is an eventful trip. The key. No, the key. Give me your hand. Is he just fine, but I'm like dying. Gotta be dramatic. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir. Where I'm not sure. But that key you discovered okay. is clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I mean, just stand like I got a broken back. I... Um... Expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I... Man's oh, literally. Oh, okay, we'll do. Man's. Do oh, my God, I keep talking. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Oh. Ancient magic. Just hanging. Yes. A powerful hanging magic out. wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Whoa. Whose castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Okay. Whoa. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Me. I am going to be the greatest wizard. Is that nice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus Hold on, I'm dancing. On the center. 
Pow. Okay. Oh, use your camera to select an active target. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Man, I just... <laughs> Than I, expected. <laughs> I was too busy breaking pots and he <laughs> like slid down the whole thing. Whoops. Can I? Ah. Uh, oh. What am I doing? I'm like learning how to walk again. What is this way? Is there more? I wonder if I could f um, We're not gonna test it. <laughs> Knowing this game, I probably could fall off and then I have to redo it. Wow. Steady yourself! I'm just gonna fly off. Whoa! <laughs> Can I get thumbnail? <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm on my way. Okay, is there anything down there? No. Maybe it wouldn't let me walk off. It wouldn't let me go there. Um. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. I want to find secrets. Oh. Well, V that's a, okay, easy enough. Investigating. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Oh, my bad. I just caused a ruckus. Investigating. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. <laughs> He's like, not cool. Move on. Whoa. Is there any more chests with coins? I would like some that money. Oh. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Something tells me it's blocking something I don't want to go to, but it's gonna make me go there anyways. What's this? Professor. Professor Big. Oh. I'm a little scared. Where is he at? There he is. Help. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. <laughs> There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. I think some crazy. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Huh? Where are we? I don't believe it. Excuse me? Hello? Hello? Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Please wake up. <clears throat> oh my lord. It can't be. 
Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> Huh? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Oh. Uh, the key. Hmm? Your wife's pulled key. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, but how does he know that it's Vault 12? What's going on? This way, then. Stay close. I don't have anywhere else to go. The door kind of fizzled. After you. No thanks. You can go first. Now keep your hands inside the car if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Okay. Wow. How many votes are there in Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both. Could have arranged for such a service. So why are we going to it? Because it's very obvious that you want to take a breath. Mm -hmm. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh, fun. A little road trip. Never mind. <laughs> this hand is so big. Vault number... 12? Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> On your way. There's um, something fishy. This guy's just happy to do his job, and the other one's like, Rrr. Of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Okay. Oh, we just like that. <laughs> that did not look correct. We just flew off that track. Here we are. I don't feel this is very secure. I cannot walk. Okay, what there we the go. Last time this vault was a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 yet until today. Oh, hold on, y'all. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I saw a chest, but it told me no. Vault 12, thank you for your help. I get it. Hold on, sorry, I just had to get my money. <laughs> I'm coming now. Can I talk to you? No. Uh, oh. What do you suppose we He's gonna close the door on us, hundred percent. I'm not sure. We're gonna be locked in. Sir, I wonder if you mean. The instructions for Vault Twelve indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close. The I door. told you. <laughs> Best of luck, I'm just lock you in. Certainly unexpected. 
Like, it really wasn't, though. I feel like... There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Heck Let's yeah. see what we're missing, shall we? Okay, magic time. Ready your wand and focus. Whoa. Skirt. Choo. Choo. I did it. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Is there anything else in here though? Wow. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to Yep. I do. <laughs> that symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead wow. the way. On it. Let's go into this mysterious room. Oh boy. Lumos. Hello? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean? It oh, says no. stay close. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. Oh, hold on. There will be no ending if things anyway. go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I'm staying close. Something bad is gonna happen. Ooh, 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 you're running away from me. I see something oh. ahead. What is it? Um, go again, <laughs> but on the floor. Let me guess. I have to touch it. swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? <laughs> I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. How am I supposed to there determine that? There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. <laughs> Ah. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It yep. is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes, sir. I did it. Um, blah, 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 blah. One. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. Yep. It does follow the light. Uh oh. Oh yay! This seems just great. Oh. Dude, you're a lot cooler than I am. I did it. Ooh. Oh my god, where did he come from? Hey, 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 hey. Like right on top of him. Professor? 
Are you kidding me? Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Stay close. Immediately disappears. What's happening? Real cool. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to fight things alone this time. How wonderful. Oh, wait, hold on. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Hello. I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight. Oh my god! Oh my god, you were going way too fast. Oh. I did it. I did it. I did it. Let me out. Please let me out. Ah! Ah! Ha ha, loser. Ha ha. You're number two. Oh! Why is there more? Why is there more? Why is there more? Why is there more? Oh my lord. Um, that was intense. Oh, I can sprint now. That would've been helpful, like, you know, 20 seconds ago. Why do I sprint like that, though? <laughs> Please tell me he's back. Professor! I see a chest, so I'm going to it. Is there another one? There's not one there. That looks like where I'm supposed to go, so we're gonna not go there yet. <laughs> Aha! Okay. Um. Hello? Hello. <gasps> Are you there? Professor Fick? Yes. Godric thought I'm glad you're all right. I'm somehow back in the entry room to the vault. I don't see a way to open the door. There must be something. I'll keep looking over here. Um. Revelio. Darn. That did not work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is the only thing I haven't touched yet, so... Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above the basin. How did you get in? <laughs> that is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. 
Yeah, okay, just take what I found, that's fine. Follow my lead. Huh? Ooh, ooh, I would you could never catch me doing that. Dumbledore? <laughs> Something tells me Dumbledore is not actually in this game, and it's upsetting me a little bit. Order's in place. The book is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. I mean, we are trusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Okay. See. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? <laughs> Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... Hello? Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Well, he's in there now. I was right. Ranrock. Seems hey. my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Raggum's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Uh, what if I say no? <laughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next <laughs> words wisely. Poor guy. I, I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with a key, and you didn't have one. Oh. I have no patience for traitors. Now. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm. Mm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Tag, no. He is too old to be thrown around like that. Uh, what? What is that? Big, please. Got crushed because he took so long. So powerful a goblin. He seemed 
wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. Huh? It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. This better lead to me getting a Slytherin. That's all I want to say. I have gone through way too much to not get my actual house. The train! Wow. Look at it. Ho ho ho. It's time! Oh, we haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Deal. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? <laughs> Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Uh Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The um. sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. I don't like him. He seems like a if jerk. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay. Hey. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Well, she seems nicer than him. So far, at least. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Um, I want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Yep. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. I don't care. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Um... You know... Hmm. I... I want to be... Strong, <laughs> so I'm gonna say this. It's ambition. I may seem single minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Mm, interesting. 
You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. <laughs> Perhaps you belong in <gasps> Slytherin. <gasps> Shut up! Um, yes, except, are you kidding? You belong in Slytherin! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Wait, what? Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. This guy's lame. What? I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Such a loser. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Bruh. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Hold on. Is this set before? Like, when Harry Potter's there? It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, mm. but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Oh. Very well. <coughs> Aspiration. Oh, wow. A reputation. <laughs> well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Okay. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thanks. So, am I correct to assume that this was set before Harry Potter? That sounded so stupid. Like, the books and movies and all that. Oh, I have a little canopy bed. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Anyways, that was my excitement. Is there anything I can find? Probably not. This is like people's belongings. So I'm just gonna move on. Wow. Okay, this looks cool. Huh. <laughs> I'm assuming I'll have more time for exploring at some point, so I'm gonna continue on and not. I really want to go that way, but I'm just- I'm not- I'm not gonna do it. I suppose some introductions are in order. Hey! Well, I suppose must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Um... Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? That is not helpful. Man, people are sassy. It's Sebastian. Okay, I know nothing about this game besides him. <laughs> hey. Can I help you? Oh. Oh, you're the new fifth year. Hold up. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. The switch up. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Thanks. Um. 
Okay, I feel like saying it was exciting when Mans died probably is not the correct way to go. Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? Coincidence. It's still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Um. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Okay. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation <laughs> for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Why do you laugh like that? <laughs> hey, peace out, bye. Did y'all just see that move? Was that supposed to happen? Okay, what's up, y'all? Uh, I, I thought someone was singing. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Hey. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. Okay, it wasn't my I'm fault. Imelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Okay, I don't think you really could have done that. But I'll, we'll start off being nice. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kogawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Um. okay. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? <laughs> the kid in the back just looked at her like, are you for real? Uh, flying. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. Uh -oh. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Okay, well, bye. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Cool. Um, can I... Bing. I I think I heard one. Okay. His eyeballs look a little freaky. I don't mean that in a bad way, but is he mm, never mind. I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh I think the entrance is kind of fun. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Okay, um, I have to question him. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, do one it. of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure-blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Okay, mermaids, I guess? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Okay, peace out. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Coming. Was that you that just said that? 
Don't worry, I'm on my way, Professor. Why am I walking so- Oh, I can run, never mind. Okay, they just keep going? What? Jesus. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Oh. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Okay. Oh, a book. Here you are. <laughs> a crazy book. It is a wizard's field guide. <laughs> it will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. The book just... You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. It just went wild. She just goes, what is it? <laughs> oh no. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Bet. Okay. This way. Can I open this? I certainly would have nope. appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Uh -huh. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Can we walk faster, please? You're going very, very slow. <laughs> The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. I'm literally right here. <laughs> Why don't you cast Revelio Hello? on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. I got a page. Kelpie. Okay. Uh, field guide challenge. Okay. Oh, opening. This is your wizarding level. Okay. Current challenge progress. Okay. Whoa. I have done nothing. <laughs> Each challenge has tears. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Oh, she's moving. Okay, what's with the eyeball chest, though? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Uh huh. Dang, this girl is like. Okay. Hey. So we just that's cool. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how oh. to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Map. Uh, divide two main areas, left students. Okay. Selecting. Green represents flames you have discovered. Gray is no. Okay. Right side of the map is your front. Okay. Select the library. Unlock the central hall. Okay, I did it. <laughs> and here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. That's cool. 
You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. What are you pointing at? <laughs> Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station. So to speak. <gasps> There's a page. Can I take it? That should be all for now. <laughs> His face. To attend both charms and defense against the dark arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Sounds good. Um, charms class. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, what? we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hogsmeade. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Okay, bye. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. I'm Actually, sure. Your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you what? outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. What if I don't Judging want that? by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh... I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. He said to not say anything. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. I'll speak of the devil. Professor Fick, your ears must have been burning. Uh oh Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly Barely. good carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. I don't think and I'll have a choice. Invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Oh. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> it's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I don't know if I would call that masterfully, but yeah. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. 
Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Opening the map. What is the main quest? Completing main quest for the story. Okay. Some quests are... What did I just click on? <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm just cool. So I need to go to class. Okay. That one, I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed the to do? Map is enchanted <laughs> to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, it sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. <gasps> He's an exceptional yes. craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about her mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, are you just gonna stand here? Oh, there he goes. This, okay, it leads me. Cool, cool. Oh. Thing in there, I just know it. Huh? Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. What were those words? <laughs> and I do. An empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Um, okay. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Okay. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I feel like I got Come it. And find me if you stumble on something illuminating. That's okay. Off the mystery. We'll do. Uh, I'm. Mm. Rebellion. Lumos. Oh, must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Well, I'm gonna assume it's there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get you oh. back to your frame, little one. The moth stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Ah. Excuse you. I knew there was a connection. I was like, did I do it? I got a page. She's up here. Hey, I did it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. I don't know who those people are. It out. The moth. I should have seen that. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Okay, oh, I am now level two. Well. Honestly, I think I'm going to end it here. This seems like a nice, easy place to call it quit. Oh, there's a man playing the guitar in that painting. Hello, what is going on?
wow. Hold on, let me let me do my little. <laughs> I had to do my little jig. Anyways, um, we're gonna call it quits here. I think. Um, next time we will get into the the classes, and hopefully I will be able to get that dang page. There has to be something with that. I don't know. I feel like we had an eventful start to this. Um, that is probably the craziest intro to a game I have had in a while. You know, we're, we're just, we're gonna ease into it. I still have no idea what is going on or when this is supposed to take place, but we'll figure it out, I'm assuming. So, I, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye!